there's a song on a new record called Under the Bridge, which is a salad, um, a ballad, if you will. And, uh, and that song came about because um, during the course of my life, uh, I was uh, what you might call a hardcore junkie for many years. And uh, during that point in my life, it was a very sad time. And, and, uh, Everything that was beautiful and precious and sacred to me sort of took a back seat um, as, as my need for this chemical dependency just got more and more disgusting and insane. And unfortunately, uh, I've been clean for three years now and my life took some massive changes and, um, and everything that was sacred and beautiful that I had lost has now come back to me more than I could have ever hoped for. But during that time, I reached some, some ultimately low depths of incomprehensible demoralization, um, you know, which are, are very much my memory, and, um, and, and part of that incomprehensible demoralization is loneliness, and, um, and that's, that's something that I think every drug addict can relate to, is there's this incredible deep sense of loneliness, of emptiness that you're trying to fill up with whatever it is that you can find, and, and, you know, in my case it was drugs, so sometimes I get these bursts of loneliness that, that um, kind of remind me of, of that point in my life, and, um, and one day I was driving back from the rehearsal for this last record that we were writing. And, and I got one of those bursts of loneliness and, and I didn't really feel like there was a single soul in the universe that I could connect with. You know, on, on a gut level, on a heart level, on a spiritual level, on a level of love, I just felt like I was all by myself. And so I started singing to myself um, on the freeway, on the Hollywood freeway, coming back from rehearsal. And without, without thinking about anything, um, an entire song came through my head and when I got home I wrote it down. And the crux of the song is, is based on loneliness. And, and there's this one little lyrical phrase that comes in at the very end of the song, which says, under the bridge downtown is where I drew some blood. Under the bridge downtown, I forgot about my love. Under the bridge downtown, I could not get enough. Under the bridge downtown, I gave my life away. And what that was referring to was a point in time about five years ago when, um, when I had nothing in my life. I had no, no friends or... Uh, or places to live, or automobiles, or relationships with my family, and all, all I had was this, uh, this connection of mine named Mario, who was a Mexican mafia ex-convict, and, and he and I would stroll the streets of downtown um, looking for our next score. And on, on one particular afternoon, it was very hot in the middle of summer, and I'd been up for days, and he and I found what we were looking for, and we went to this bridge that was downtown in the middle of Los Angeles in this ghetto, and it was a, a freeway bridge. And um, there was a little passageway that you had to go to to get under the bridge. And, and only certain members of this Mexican gang, which were all ex-convicts, were allowed to go in there. And the reason that they let me in is because this guy Mario said that I was going out with his sister, which was a lie, just so we could go in there and, um, and do what it is we wanted to do, which was to use these particular drugs we had just gotten. And, uh, and that always sticks in my brain as, um, you know, a low point in my life, basically. You know, about as low as, as I could get. And um, the chorus of the song is, I don't ever want to, I don't ever want to feel like I did that day. Take me to the place I love, take me all the way. And the place I love is where I am now. Um, making music with, with my band and, and making love with, with my friends and my, my girlfriends, which is, to me, you know, the most sacred thing that I have going. Uh, is creating sound with, with my best friends. 